factoring trinomials. So to start, when we are given two, two binomials to multiply, we know we can get from here to here. Now we want to be able to start with our trinomial and get it into two factors or two binomials that are getting multiplied together. All right, notice when we multiply it out, before we combine our like terms, we would get this polynomial. Now some key things to notice here, that this 6 times negative 5, when we multiply them, we get negative 30. But, and then these middle two that we combine, we'll get negative 7. But also when we multiply these two, we get this negative 30 as well. And notice that these two numbers match up. We're going to be using this pattern to figure out how to factor trinomials. So the key thing here is we need to find two numbers that will multiply to 30, which would give us this part and this part. But then we also need them to add to this negative 7, which would give us here, because then these two numbers are what are going to be in the middle. So we're going to practice it on this equation, or on this expression, excuse me, just to make sure that we get where we want to end up. So let's start by just making a little chart. We want to multiply to negative 30, because 6 times negative 5 is negative 30. Oops. But we want to add to negative 7 because of this middle number here. So some options, well, negative 6 times 5 gets us negative 30, but that doesn't add to negative 7. What about 5 and negative 6? Well, that doesn't work either. What about 15 and negative 2? Those don't add to negative 7. What about 2 and negative 15? Well, that won't work either. What about negative 3 and 10? Well, that gets us to positive 7, which isn't what we want. So what about if we do 3 and negative 10? Well, that gets us to negative 7, which is what we want. So that means these are the two numbers we're going to be using and substituting in for this negative 7x. So we'll rewrite. We got 6x squared. And now remember, instead of this negative 7x, we're going to use these. So plus 3x minus 10x. And then we still have our minus 5. Now we're going to factor by grouping. So in these first two, we can factor out a 3x. We're left with 2x plus 1, because remember, 3x divided by 3x is 1. In the second two, we can take out a negative 5. We're left with 2x plus 1, because remember, a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So now we can take this 2x plus 1 from both, and we're left with 3x minus 5. And notice that is what we wanted from up here, this 2x plus 1 times 3x minus 5, so we're good. We're going to be using this method for factoring trinomials. So once again, we want to find a number that multiplies to 4 times negative 9, or negative 36, but then adds to negative 9, because that's our middle term. So some options here. We can do negative 6 and 6. Well, that won't work. We can do negative 18 and 2, and that won't work. Um, what about negative 9 and 4? Nope. Uh, what about negative 3 and 12? Well, that will get us to positive 9, so we're close. So what about 3 and negative 12? Well, that will get us to negative 9, so that's, those are our two numbers. So now we'll go 4q squared plus 3q minus 12q minus 9. 
And in our first two, our GCF is Q, so we're left with 4Q plus 3. In our second two, they're both negative, so let's take out a negative 3. I'm left with 4Q plus 3. And these are the same, which is what we want, so let's factor that. And one way to double check your answer is just multiply it out and see if we get what we wanted. So when we distribute, we'll get 4Q squared minus 12q plus 3q minus 9, or 4q squared minus 9q minus 9, which is what we wanted up here, so we were good. So this was our answer. All right, let's look at this one. We need to multiply to 5 times 2, which is 10, and add to this negative 8. So, no. Well, those are the only options to multiply to 10. None of them work. So, this one is also prime because it cannot be factored. Alright, so now we're going to factor this one. Notice first, though, it's not in the correct order. We need that squared term to be first. So all we got to do is reorder it. And now this is something we can deal with. So we need to multiply to negative 10, because remember there's a 1 here, and add to negative 3. So once we make our substitution, the GCF of the first two is A, so you've got A plus 2. GCF of the second two, negative 5, so A plus 2. So we're left with A plus 2. A minus 5. And remember, if you wanted to check it, just multiply them together and see if we get what we wanted to start with. That is what we wanted. So we're good. So this is our answer. So now let's try this one. It's in the right order. We want to multiply to 8, add to negative 6. GCF is x. And our GCF, let's take out a 4. And you can choose whether you want to take out a positive 4 or a negative 4. Some people just go off of whatever this sign is and take that. So we can take out a negative 4. So we have to x minus 2. Now it's x minus 2. x minus 4. And if you want to double check your answer, So that means we are good, and that is our answer. Now keep in mind, if this did not check, that means there's a mistake somewhere. So make sure you go back and find that mistake. All right, this one. It looks a little more complicated, but notice there's a common factor that all three terms have, and you do always want to check for that common GCF first. So they all have a 3a that we can factor out. So we're left with 6 plus b minus b squared. Now that looks more manageable, but let's reorder it. And we don't really want this leading term to have a negative, so let's factor out a negative 1. So we have just negative 3a. And now that's just going to change the signs of everything inside. And now we still have to factor this trinomial. So let's figure two numbers that multiply to negative 6 and add to negative 1. So now we still have this negative 3a. And now we're going to worry about this uh, trinomial.
And so out of the first two, we can factor out a b. And out of the second two, we can factor out a negative 3. So then we've got b plus 2 and b minus 3. Once again, keep in mind, if you wanted to check with multiplication, that's fine. You should get where we started. All right, so now we're going to factor this trinomial. So once again, let's see if they've got a common factor or a GCF. And it looks like we can take a b out. So we're left with 4 plus 11a squared plus 6a to the fourth. And once again, let's put them in order with our highest exponent. And now, even though this is a to the fourth, that's okay because this is a fourth and this is a squared, just like we had x squared plus x. Notice if we had squared both, we'd get to the fourth and a squared, so that's okay. So now, we've got to find two numbers that multiply to 24 and add to 11. So we're going to have this b out front, and we're going to have 6a to the 4th plus 8a squared plus 3a squared plus 4. These first two, we can take out a 2a squared. We're left with 3a squared plus 4. And notice we can take out just a common factor of 1 here. And they both have this 3a squared plus 4. Now what about this? This is like how we did substitution before. We can substitute, let's just call this m. So we'd have m squared minus 3m minus 10. Now this looks manageable. So we've got to multiply to negative 10, add to negative 3. So we'll have m squared plus 2m minus 5m minus 10. But now remember, we didn't actually start with an m in our problem. So we need to substitute back out for this m. So it'll be a plus b plus 2 and a plus b minus 5 substitute back out. All right, in this one, it looks different because of this y squared and y, but it's going to work the same way as the rest of them. We still need to find numbers that multiply to 9 and add to 6. So 3 and 3 work. And now, since this one had a 6xy, these 3s are both going to have an xy as well. And now this will work the same way. We can take an x out here and a 3y here. And we didn't get this. If you wanted, you could also write your answer like this. Either one is OK. You can leave it like this if you want. Some people like writing it like that. Doesn't matter. And this is how you factor trinomials.